We are visiting the Pomona office of Supervi Los Angeles County Supervisor Hilda Solis. It's locked. It looks dark. It looks like you would have to go through almost like a going into a nobody there, no puede. And according to their hours on their office, they are here. The office hours, office hours are 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. And of course they have it in Spanish too. And I have made calls and they never return my calls. Right. So mm -hmm. according to their own sign here, they, they should be in the office. We're here on account, on account of the issue with the the migrant kids at uh, Fairplex. Now, yes, we have heard, and the good news is it's finishing up, but uh, they, she's been terrible, terrible about giving account. Supervisor Hilda Solis. About what exactly they're doing there and what they're doing with the kids. All we know is that they're presumably being taken from there and taken to their family members. Or, or, or sponsors, so-called so sponsors, so-called so family, so-called guardians. We don't know that for a fact, and that's very scary, considering essentially they're working or collaborating with human traffickers. And Mr., oh, the gentleman at the head of HHH H. Becerra, is also very heavily involved in this. We don't know who's getting all the monies, of course, and these poor kids are even poorer, just already right. bad enough as it was. We don't know what their end game is. No financial accountability for this whole operation. Where's the money going? Is it going to the children or not? What's happening to keep, the children? Keep it running, Robin. Oh, okay. okay. Well, we're sorry we missed you, Hilda. We sure want to let you know that we want to know more about this operation. We want accountability, financial accountability. We want to know what's happening with these children. Are they being abused? And who is supposedly being their sponsors? Is it really family members they're going to or not? Let the, us know. The whole, the whole uh, work about plan of all of this is very secretive. Yeah. And that's really that's scary, and taxpayers are paying for everything. Yeah, so now this is an example of, we get this a lot, we go to a lot of people's offices where they're not here, they will not, they will not talk to us. The Revolutionary War was fought because of taxation without representation. Right. This right here is no representation whatsoever. We have none. Anybody who's watching this video right now, Go to your elected official's office and tell me what happens. Just want to point out to the audience, we are going to leave with and for Ms. Hilda Solis to read. But the Biden administration has lost track of 45,000 unaccompanied minors who entered illegally. 45,000, we have no whereabouts of these kids. Midnight runs, Biden secretly flying underage migrants into New York in the dead of the night. And as you can see, these are very recent oh, reports. Very suspicious. Very secretive. Also, you know, we have 400,000 uh, homeless uh, uh, foster children, 400,000. And this lady's solution is to bring more exactly. people, more unaccompanied minor who need foster care from other countries. Exactly. We've already got more people than we can handle. And this person, I almost said a bad word, this person is bringing in more. That's her solution. The American tax dollars, millions upon millions, have gone in to fund these programs. Those should all be spent on our own citizens. We do not support this program at all. These minor children have been trafficked by smugglers into our country, and their own country should be responsible right. so that we can take care of our veterans, our disabled Americans, our um, U.S. foster kids. There are about two million children right now in America whose parent, one or more, is incarcerated. We have our own children to look out for. Right. 
And this whole thing has been so secretive. We don't know what was happening with the children at the Fairplex. Nobody's allowed to know. Mm -hmm. Not allowed to go there and visit. It's very highly structured and cordoned off from the public. We don't know what's happening with the money. And also, the children are supposed to be taken out soon, supposedly going to sponsors and quote family members. We don't know. No. Because there's zero accountability. Hilda, we want some accountability from you. We want to know where they went. We want to know uh, when you're sending them back to their home countries. And we want their home countries to follow up with them. It's not our responsibility, Hilda. Amen. So all these accompanied minors, they have no identification, they have no birth certificate, so we know we don't even know who they are. And these are being right. put straight into the uh, child trafficking rings by the uh, cartel members. Right. Right. So they could kill these kids and no one's going to miss them. Nobody's going to know. Just kill them, put them in a, in a dumpster and they're gone. There's no re record that they even existed. And this lady right here is... Hilda Solis. Hilda Solis. Here's one thing about Miss Hilda Solis. She's a big promoter of all kids, school-age kids being vaccinated. Um, all companies have to have vaccinated um, employees. And yet, we know for a fact, people crossing the border illegally now, mm -hmm. they're not being no. checked. And even if no. they are proven uh, positive for COVID, they're being allowed to come into our country. Right. And yet, they're trying to force American citizens Exactly. take away our freedom. So now we also have a letter in this packet mm -hmm. and as we pointed out the door says that the staff should be here 830 to 530 Monday through Friday today's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be forced to leave our letter and our packet of information through the mail slot so we're going to go ahead. It should fit so let me try. One, okay. two, three. Oops. 